Hey guys. <laughs> I'm the sad sack at camp. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really. <laughs> Um, so, uh, the other day I saw the craziest, most bonkers thing in the entire world. You wanna know what it was? Yeah. 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 It was ice cream that doesn't melt. <laughs> which is the defining feature of ice cream. <laughs> I held up the package and said, or it said, this ice cream will not melt. And I was like, We'll see about that after I throw you into a volcano. <laughs> That's why I was so surprised after I threw it into a volcano that it didn't melt. <laughs> That's good advertising. <laughs> oh, uh, which volcano you ask? Well, I'm not gonna tell you. You'll just steal my ice cream. <laughs> So if, uh, if video games were food, I'd be like, wow, this Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is delicious. <laughs> Except that wouldn't actually happen, because video games are not food. <laughs> if I tried eating Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, I would just be putting a compact disc in my mouth, and that would be just like eating broken glass. In fact, it would be eating broken glass. <laughs> and that would, that's a bad thing. It would only be a good thing if I wanted to join the big stupid losers club and eat video games. <laughs> Which I tried to join, but the application process was too long. <laughs> None of that matters now, though, because I'm here now. <laughs> but anyways, if I ate a video game, that would be so stupid, because then I couldn't even play it. It would be all broken and in my mouth. <laughs> That's why I think we should transition to strictly digital video games. Because it would be a lot easier to eat Elder Scrolls V Skyrim on a uh, compact disc than it would be to eat my entire PlayStation 4 that has four <laughs> Elder Scrolls V Skyrim downloaded on it. <laughs> Unless it was deep fried. <laughs> so, uh, you guys know, like, locks? <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, like combination locks and like lock and key type yeah. locks, guys. <laughs> we know how you take stuff that you own and put them inside lockers and then use the lock to lock things in the locker. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> How many of you guys have ever, like, put stuff in a locker and then forgot, or, like, locked it and then either forgot the combination, burned the key, <laughs> or left the part of your brain that remembers things inside the locker? Has that ever happened to you guys? <laughs> That's happened to me three times in my life. But, uh, it seems like a really bad thing because you can't get your stuff. Too bad it doesn't matter at all, because in that situation, all you have to do is talk to a supervisor or a superior adult, and then he'll just, he or she will just come up with some uh, like clippers that you use for your hedges and clip the lock right off. <laughs> What's the point of even having locks if anyone with some gardening tools can just come over and clip your lock off? <laughs> is nothing sacred? <laughs> You and your buddies can just go down to Home Depot's gardening section and then get up, <laughs> buy a bunch of stuff, and go to a bank and then just clip all the locks off and take the money. <laughs> it's that easy. <laughs> These are the real problems in our world. Nothing is sacred. So, um, you know, you know, humans and plants 
<laughs> They're a lot alike, you know? Too much water, they'll drown and die. <laughs> Too little water, and they'll dehydrate and die. <laughs> but this doesn't even make sense, because plants don't even have mouths to drink water. <laughs> I learned this factoid from watching Planet Earth. <laughs> the planet, not the documentary. <laughs> not that you guys would even know what that documentary is anyways, because it's a British documentary and this is America. <laughs> also, it came out in 2006, so all you little baby campers were just even littler, stupider babies in 2006. <laughs> um, there is one exception to this uh, plant with mouth rule that I discussed earlier, and that's the Venus flytrap. It is the only plant that I know of that has a mouth. But it doesn't really matter that much anyways, because it's from, it's like an alien plant. It's from another planet. That's why they call it a Venus flytrap. <laughs> it's from the planet flytrap. <laughs> so I uh, read an article recently. Uh, it said that if you take all your clothes off when you're sleeping, you get a better night's rest. I told my roommates that, <laughs> and they started doing it, <laughs> sleeping completely naked. Now all the pieces are in place. <laughs> really angry. I started getting acne again. I thought I was done with this BS in high school, now that I'm getting my BA in college. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up. <laughs> I just wish I had a gun so I could shoot all my pimples off. That would solve the problem. <laughs> Long story short, <laughs> gun control is making me uglier. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I'm done. Sorry. <laughs>